Hello everybody, today I want to talk about Photoshop UVC scheme in comparison video. I know that there are a lot of videos like this on the internet, but I, I believe that some of them or most of them, uh, the people that talk about uh, these two software are not competent. And uh, uh, I believe that some didn't use GIMP enough or others didn't use Photoshop or they haven't used any of them and just talking about them. So I want to talk about this software as a person that used those software quite a bit. Well, at least I use Photoshop a lot and <laughs> I'm not sure about GIMP. Well, a brief history about me and uh, the point I got into uh, raster graphical editing or image editing, if I want to say right term for it will be image editing, editing for me. I got it, cut into it in 2008, I think. It was Photoshop uh, CS4. Even though I didn't want it to spend a lot of money, I had no choice because GIMP, uh, GIMP even though GIMP is free, there are actually no tutorials out there. The tutorials were very limited for the GIMP. But Photoshop had ton tutorials, so I first got a trial for it, or got a, a trial uh, software. And then when I got the thing I had to do, I enjoyed it, the making it. And then I purchased uh, Photoshop CS4. And uh, then ever since I've been using Photoshop CS4, CS5, CS6, or CC. Well, when I about GIMP, I I got into GIMP because uh, there is no Photoshop for Linux. And as you might know, I'm a huge Linux supporter, so I had to use GIMP for Linux. Even though first I tried really hard to use Photoshop on uh, Linux through Wine, I ended up quitting and starting started uh, using GIMP. Well. Let's begin, let's stop this nonsense and let's begin the actual comparison. I want to make it as brief, brief as possible. So I'll give you the, uh, the basics and the most important things about the differences between those two software. Well, the first the biggest difference is that one is open source, other is proprietary. What does this mean? Well, if you are don't know what's and don't know or don't believe in freedoms that uh, Richard Stallman preaches about open source software, uh, you'll end up looking at these two software as one is free, other cost uh, money. We went so Photoshop is beautifully priced right now. It costs only $10 a month, and that's beautiful pricing for what we all users had to pay Compared to that, I think we had to pay almost a thousand dollars for a good suite, Photoshop suite. And now you can get it for ten dollars as a bargain, but GIMP is free. It still has that, GIMP is free. And uh, but one thing that even because Photoshop costs money, they are forced to give you better support because you are in a license agreement with them and they are forced to give you better support from than GIMP does. GIMP is free and you can't tell them anything. So I, got, I lost my data that I worked on. They'll tell you so what, but Photoshop has more obligations. Other than that, there isn't much difference we can talk about in open source which is proprietary. And uh, knowing a lot of people they still ended up pirating Photoshop, so those are free. Well, that's out of the way. Let's talk about system requirements. Well, this is a tiny bit different. Uh, if you are using a PC that was built in the late 2000s, you'll be able to uh, run Photoshop. But if you aren't, the GIMP is lighter software. It requires uh, less system resources, so if you are using a very old PC, uh, you rather go with GIMP. But if you are uh, any 
shape for far more modern using a modernish PC then you are good with using Photoshop and let's go to the latest and the most important uh, thing of this comparison the features because I got into Photoshop much 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 earlier than GIMP I might be slight biased and but I'll try my best not to be the feature differences between GIMP and Photoshop aren't that big but just like uh, Carmack said when he was talking about OpenGL and DirectX he said this and I'll try to quote link his that quote in the description he said this that there was time when open source software was uh, uh, people that actually know it and, and not the proprietary software but today it's uh, totally different the open source software is uh, catching up to the proprietary software so that's the difference that Photoshop comes up with a feature and then uh, GIMP project tries to catch up to it to copy that feature and implement it in the GIMP if you look at it like that there is a, there aren't a lot of differences between Photoshop and GIMP just the uh, Photoshop has all of the features that are more polished because they have uh, so much more work put into them for example uh, the simplest thing the selection on Photoshop is simple fast refined you just you tell it to select some item and it selects it really is it makes your life so much easier on the other hand the GIMP has selection uh, feature as well but it's more work you need to put more work into it but the differences uh, still aren't that much if you are willing to put work into it and you are coming uh, and you know Photoshop you just have to search for similar uh, similar features that Photoshop had this was a problem when I started first started GIMP when I looked at it I was in shock I didn't know what was going on because I was so used to Photoshop but when I started to look for look for stuff on the internet for example I wanted to use layer mask I searched on the internet uh, layer masks for GIMP and fa suddenly found the result so even though that names don't match the Photoshop names don't match the GIMP uh, names uh, most of the things are implemented in them you just have to search for them for example I don't know how to make a selection or layer masks or how to use there's a lot of features like that that you would uh, if you know how to do it on Photoshop you just have to search for them on the internet and you'll be surprised how similar those two softwares are how well did her keep copied Photoshop features but the names might be different but uh, today unlike in unlike 2008 there are so many tutorials and so much information on the GIMP project um, you wouldn't find those in 2008 if I would have this much information in 2008 most probably I wouldn't buy Photoshop I would use GIMP but but there's a that difference that if you are a big project a big company you rather pay that much for the luxury the luxury to simplify your job experience but if you don't have the money the GIMP will do so the same things but it will it will be harder to do the uh, no distracted editing isn't there the smart objects aren't implemented yet there are a lot of things that aren't implemented and sure you can go around uh, or work have, have work around for all of these features and yes you will do the same things with GIMP without too much hassle but Photoshop can do everything with less uh, effort GIMP you, end of the day you will be using GIMP with a bit more effort for example even uh, the raw editing Photoshop doesn't actually doesn't import raw files into it but you can work with select open, open 
profiles with Photoshop, it will open a camera raw as separate uh, software for it. Uh, and but you will be able to import it from that software in Photoshop. But for, on GIMP, you can't do that. So there are a lot of steps that Photoshop simplifies for you that GIMP doesn't. And basically, that's the difference that even though that you can do the same thing with GIMP, you'll have to do a bit more to do the, all of these tasks. So, so yeah, you, there are brushes on Photoshop and there are brushes available on GIMP. Uh, there is a counter where delete available on Photoshop out of the footbox, counter where filters available on Photoshop, but on GIMP, for that you should download a separate plugin. So yeah, all of these things that you want to do when editing, you will be able to do on GIMP. But Photoshop will do all of that easier, so that's the biggest difference. And, and even so, that I'm, I said that I'm a Photoshop user, uh, when I started getting into GIMP, and it took me some time because I hated it. I was like, why well, aren't this? Uh, these icons here, or why aren't why who put had this filter error? I hated everything about it, but when I started using it, I turned out to be very similar to Photoshop. It's uh, a bit different, but it's quite a bit similar to Photoshop, and uh, you'll be amazed how much things you can do with GIMP. Uh, you'll be amazed just how much things you can do with GIMP and if you are using a, if you are a Photoshop user. So uh, if you don't want to spend ten dollars a month, I think or are you, you are using a uh, Unix like operating system or Unix or other operating systems that Photoshop and Adobe doesn't support, you'll be amazed how much things you can do with GIMP. So that's my verdict set. Photoshop is an amazing software, I love it. GIMP is an amazing software that I love it as well. But Photoshop does everything and more easier than what you get on GIMP. So thank you for watching, hope it was helpful. Please like this video, comment and subscribe. Best of luck in your journey in the image editing or whatever you are interested in. Best of luck.